Hi there, everyone. Welcome to today's driving theory lesson. I'm your instructor, Miss Stacy, and I'm so excited to dive into these important driving concepts with you. On our last video, we delve into the road rules that govern a roundabout, and we were able to solve this question that you see on the screen here. So if you are interested in that, kindly note you can find the link to that video in the description of this video. My goal is to help you truly understand the rules of the road so you can become a confident, safety-conscious driver. Remember, the more you understand the theory driving concepts, the better equipped you'll be to handle anything that comes your way on the road. So let's approach this lesson with an open mind and a willingness to learn. I'm here to support you every step of the way. All right then, let's get started. Take out your notebooks and pens and let's dive into this topic. This is going to be fun, I promise. So as you can probably see here, we got three cars which wants to navigate this intersection, and this intersection is what we would call an uncontrolled intersection. Now to learn more about what an uncontrolled intersection is, make sure to check out my previous videos. I'm sure I do explain further on that. But just to sum up what I have said before and give you a quick explanation, an uncontrolled intersection is a road intersection where no traffic lights, road markings, or signs are used to indicate the right of way. And this intersection that you see here is specifically an uncontrolled intersection, as you can clearly see, because there's no traffic lights, road markings, or signs used to indicate which car has the right of way or regulate traffic. So the general rule is cars should yield to traffic approaching from their right and obviously proceed with caution when the road is clear on their right. So to answer this question, car B should yield right of way to car A and car A should also yield right of way to car C. Car C is the only car with nothing approaching from its right, so it has the right of way. However, car C intends to make a right turn in front of an oncoming traffic, of which that would be breaking a road rule. So car C will have to move slightly to the center and stop just before it makes that right turn, thereby giving way for car B to cross the intersection. As soon as car B finishes crossing this intersection, car C will then be free to make its right turn, then it will be the second car to cross this intersection. Well guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Surely hope you learned a lot from this video. Don't forget to leave us a comment and while you are at it, just hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it so much. So till next time, see you soon.